Hey guys, um, it's a wonderful, beautiful day today. I had to step out because being inside the house constantly can drive you nuts. But as you all know, I'm recovering very well. And I wanted to share with you um, amazing, amazing story that I, I had posted on YouTube. But I want to mention it to you again because there's a lot of detail I left out in that video. And so this is part two of that video. <laughs> And it's about how I dealt with COVID-19 and being pregnant and losing our baby right when I recovered from COVID-19. And so I have to tell you, um, so when I had mentioned on the video that that Saturday when I went to the ER and we saw that the baby was perfectly fine and my vital, so my vital signs and everything was great, my blood tests, all that stuff was great. Um, they did call it a threatened miscarriage, so they told me I needed to stay on bed rest, and that was on a Saturday. Well, Sunday and Monday night, I was feeling very uncomfortable, and I was starting to notice something wasn't right. And so, in the evening, when I was laying in bed, my husband came to me, he anointed me with oil, and he prayed over me. And right when he put his hand on my belly and anointed the, my belly, I felt no more pain. Like, I was uncertain at that moment, and I thought, Either the baby's okay or the Lord took our baby. And that one moment when my husband finished praying and I wasn't feeling any more pain after feeling hours and hours of pain and he walked away, something just told me to worship. Like the Holy Spirit said, worship, just worship. So I started singing our favorite song, I raise a hallelujah. And then my husband came to the room and started praising and singing with me and we were raising our hands to our Lord and we were just singing the whole song. And I just felt I had to do it. Come Tuesday when we had our ultrasound, we saw that unfortunately the baby had passed. Um, not passed through me, but the Lord took our baby. And so that Monday night, that was confirmation. And we worshiped, we worshiped. Isn't God amazing? And that was the night that I came to peace. I came to peace with whether he if, he if he took our baby that's fine if the baby's still alive that's fine too so i came to peace with it and tuesday when we found that there was no heartbeat i wasn't crying i wasn't upset um i was okay with it and then wednesday when we had the second ultrasound and there was no heartbeat i was still okay with it i was at total peace and um i did grieve I grieved a little bit on Sunday, Monday, because I felt in my spirit just something wasn't right. You know, you're, women know when there's something wrong, when there's something going on with their body. Um, I'm thankful for Leora. Oh, my goodness, I'm just so thankful for her. So we are now a party of five, and we have two kids up in heaven. How beautiful is that? I don't think of it. My mind shifted. And the Lord helped me shift. Something shifted. And that was my mind. It was my way of thinking. And I look at life in a totally different perspective now. And I'm like, I have a passion to help people shift their way of thinking. Of thinking um, positively, positive in a biblical sense. And so, you know, we had to make a decision whether we would let the baby pass naturally or have a procedure. And I just couldn't go through that again. I couldn't go with, I couldn't deal with knowing that I'm going to go through pain again because my body did suffer a lot besides with COVID symptoms and pregnancy symptoms together don't go. It was really, really hard on my body and I just did not want to deal with having the pain to deliver this baby naturally. So I decided that the procedure was best and it was the best thing for me. Um, <clears throat> because now that I came to, to peace, I wanted to come to peace with my body as well. And so I prayed about it first. And, I, and, and it was just the right thing. So every time when I wake up in the morning, I always go into my scripture because it's the, it's the only way. It's, it's my only way of having to get through the day. And the Lord showed me, he woke me up one o'clock in the morning and depositing things on me that I was being disobedient. I wasn't writing this stuff down and I was just trying to filter it all in my head, trying to remember it all. And then at two o'clock in the morning, I looked at my phone and I said, I'm still awake. And the Lord said, get up and write what I'm telling you. So I got up, I went to my computer and I started 
doing things that he had prompted me to do, this project that I've been working for, working with for about a year. Um, he says it's ready to get published and we just needed to sharpen some odds and ends. And I want to get into detail, but that's going to be in the next video. So, but I just want to let you know that he spoke to me till four o'clock in the morning. And that whole day, I was not tired. I was not hungry. I was praying for people over the phone. I was texting people prayers. Talk about an, a powerful anointing. And so I have a passion to, to, to pray for, for people. I have a passion to be open when it comes to communication. I have a passion to help people shift their way of thinking because I went through it. And there's tons of scriptures in the Bible that talk about mindset there you know the, the first thing that you know it says in scripture that the devil is out there trying to steal and destroy I love you too this is my daughter having fun here at the park with my husband and he tries to attack our thoughts and when he tries to attack our thoughts we become restless and that's probably one of the reasons why plenty plenty of us can't sleep at night because we're anxious so I challenge you to, pray, to, to get a journal get a notebook and write all your thoughts captive everything captive and then look for something what, what is it that you're thinking about is it are you sick are you depressed are you dealing with addiction are you um, dealing with anything that is basically not peaceful I would google healing I would google anxious if you don't know certain scriptures to look for in the Bible um, but read your Bible and you can meditate on those scriptures right after you write your thoughts and then you pray you pray and you ask the Lord to help you in this area <clears throat> excuse me in this area and I have to tell you that what a great tool to start and do it on a daily basis guys I challenge you to do this I challenge you to do this on a daily basis and you're gonna see your mind shift you're gonna see they're gonna start thinking of positive things I have to tell you, we are all human. We are all sinners. We think, sometimes we can't even control our thinking, right? <clears throat> because of what we're watching, of what we're hearing, of what we're seeing. Be vigilant in all those areas. Be vigilant of what you're seeing. Be vigilant of what you're watching. Be vigilant of what you're hearing. Listen to positive podcasts. Listen to John Maxwell. He's a pastor. Listen to things that will relate to the Bible, you guys. Um, see, what I went through was extremely complicated but God and so I wanted to share something with you because I got this amazing shirt from my sister Daisy Allen uh, from our church if you guys want to purchase the shirt it says that it's complicated but God and that's exactly what had happened to me the situation with COVID and pregnancy is complicated but God if you guys want to purchase her merchandise go to kingdomapparel.merch and um, you can you can find it on there She's amazing. I'm actually going to tag her below this video so that uh, you can reach out to her. But this is what better way, what better way to express this testimony? It's complicated but God. But God. So I wanted to share this with you because whatever that you're going through, um, challenge yourself to do those things. Grab a pen and paper and write. You see in the Bible, Jesus told Moses to write things on tablets, to write the commandments on tablets. I'm no different. If he's telling me to write, I have to write. You express more when you write. And believe it or not, you feel even better sometimes after you finish writing. But add some scripture in there. Add some prayer in there. Seek first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added to you. You see, we are conquerors. We are warriors. We need to walk boldly and fearlessly and confidently in the, in, 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 in the will of God, you guys. Um, you know, he, God gave us not a spirit of fear, but a spirit of a sound mind and self-control. 2 Timothy 2, 7, or yeah, 1, 7, sorry, 2 Timothy 1, 7. So you guys got to, this is scripture and it's all truth. This is all the word of God. There's so much more I need to talk about. And I know that God is preparing me for something big. And I'm so thankful. And I too I'm gonna write things down and I too am gonna share my experiences but you know God puts us through the fire 
to help define us, to help get rid of the impurities. And we come out winning. So when I got out of the, that procedure, I was excited. I came out winning. And my baby, my unborn child, came out winning. So I wanted to share that with you. I hope that this gives you, um, that if this uplifts you, any issues that you're going through, know that God is there with you. Um, and if you need any prayer, please reach out to me. So you guys have a wonderful day. May God bless you. May, he sh may his light shine upon you. May he answer all your prayers and may he give you peace. Bye.